welcome everyone. So another Grin. Blah, sorry. <laughs> well, welcome everyone. We are the Grin Brothers, and we're continuing our playthrough of Shantae Half Genie Heroes DLC uh, Pirate Queen's Quest. Hello. Yes, Raf is here. Yeah, I, I say things every now and again. That's what I do. So, which is your favourite enemy in the game? Knowing the way you think. What do you mean? Because I know you like those enemies for specific reasons. You're trying to suggest something, Liam. That you have a very shallow way of liking certain designs? Yes. I think you'll find I very much appreciate artwork. My favourite enemy at a bat. I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Mm, fair enough. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Just genuinely don't have an answer to that. Fair enough. Uh, I guess the, the slimes are cute. I like their design. They're a bit naff, though. They're kind of terrible enemies. I must admit, they're, they're probably like, like one of the worst enemies in the game. They're introduced late, and you can kill them by getting caught by their attack. Their, their like, attack can kill them. Well, speaking of your uh, love of art here, then. Yeah. Um, so, an interesting thing that's popped up because... Um, I mean, of um, having been doing these uh, uploads. Yeah. Is the uh, on Tumblr, I found a few people who've uh, been commenting about a situation going on with DeviantArt and Shantae. Okay. And uh, basically, the situation is that some people have been having their um, Shantae artwork taken uh, out of. Um, I think it increases your speed and jump height in water. Uh, some people have been having their Shanti artwork taken out of um, sort of deviant art and then being sort of banned and such. Okay. Specifically Shanti. Specifically Shanti. Um, and to point out how ridiculous it is, um, but ba basically the situation is Shanti is 16. Yeah. Um, which in certain territories, I believe in America, counts her as a child. Even though you can, you know, drink and drive when you're six. I no, think if you can. America, D. If, if you can 18 drink. 18 is legally an adult. 18 to 21. Yeah. I think if you can drink drive, then yeah, frankly, you should be counted as an adult. Well, you're not really supposed to drink drive, <laughs> regardless. Well, drink, of and, drink drive and drink drive. <laughs> Um, drink, drive, and drink, drive. You're aware <laughs> of what you just said, right? You're promoting illegal activity. <laughs> well, apparently these people drawing Shanti are, promote, are doing illegal activity, so... That's true. Um, but basically, because she's 16, um, images of her uh, have been taken down because DeviantArt has been getting very specific with that sort of thing, even though their front pages are usually filled with porn. Yeah. Or really disturbing fetish art sort of thing. Fetish art. Uh, it's so, deviant art. The whole thing is fetish art. Like it's I, how they fry. I, like I, I, before, I remember no offense hearing. No deviant artists. I've been but... hearing people who've been targeted when they draw sort of etchy drawings of, say, um, ironically, of a lot of the Disney characters. Um, you know, if they drew Ariel, for instance, they were getting into trouble because she's fourteen but, in canon. But she, she literally, she only literally wears looks. A bra. Yeah, she looks like that. Uh, you know, some people getting into trouble for uh, drawing um, uh, Snow White. I don't know how old she is. So. She's 14 as well, I believe. Okay. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. Um, so you're in Japan, but Japan's not really who you want to be taking advice But the thing is, uh, and you know, it, the person, uh, I remember the person with the Snow White thing, but the person had basically um, put out the hypocrisy, and their drawing of Snow White wasn't allowed, but someone. Quite clearly, erotic cosplay of Snow White was allowed. Um, so I guess the kind of argument there is that it's... I mean, no, yeah. But again, it's still it's like dumb. porn on an art site, which you've got to yeah. question. Um, We've got a site for that already, so... Yeah, it's apparently the future of a lot of things, because it's apparently uh, generally working better than a lot of these other sites as of late. Until Fallout comes along where it gets decimated because no one starts using it anymore. Oh, no, I meant like a specific... Oh, I, I, thought you were, I thought you were talking about Pornhub. No. You know, that I mean, one site where Fallout... Where the Fallout... They, they actively lost views because of Fallout 4's <laughs> release. Mm. Which is funny. 
it's a good, there's, there's no. I mean, they laughed at it as well. I'm pretty sure because they've got a good sense of humor. It seems. Yeah. Uh, they're pretty good people as well. They paid to have a uh, snowplow made. Yeah. In one of the countries that does, like one of the towns only has like one snowplow, so they just paid to have some snowplows put out. To, That's nice. To, yeah. The only, you know, like the only thing was it had to advertise Pornhub. So it was a snowplow that just had Pornhub written on it. But, I mean, I'm sure they weren't that concerned by it. Pornhub, remember to wrap up warm. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Keep those clothes on, kids. <laughs> Yeah, no, they've got a great... Also, as always, the, uh, you know, porn actresses uh, doing Twitch live yeah, streams she's being wearing better more clothing dressed but... than Twitch live streamers. Um, I'll never not laugh at that. Because... But, but yeah, um... But yeah. But the thing is, like someone showed an example. It was a picture of Shante holding like a little, or, you know, like a little squid baron sort of thing. Just Shante in a bikini sort of thing. Her standard bikini as she wears in this game. Yeah, and you have an end slate for yeah. as well and everything. That got taken down. Um, right. Even though it's not but there's nothing inherently. it's just her in a swimsuit. Yeah, there's nothing inherently Yeah, like it wasn't even posed in such a way. It was just, you know, hands on the hip, looking to the camera sort of thing. Yeah. Someone, to prove how ridiculous it gets, Goy took it down for having a picture of, just like Shante's upper body, of her winking. Just in her standard outfit. In a standard, we couldn't even see it, it was just the upper body. Oh. It was like from the shoulders upwards. Right. Oh, you see, that's the Her thing. Her winking. Though. If uh, education has taught us anything, shoulders are one of the most sexual parts of the body and must be hidden at all times. Because clearly that's what gets people aroused. Well, I know from the Toho Project fandom that uh, they really armpits. get aroused of armpits. Yeah, that seems to be a fetish a lot of people have and I don't understand it like at all. Well I only only ever heard of it from Toho Project. I, that's because a lot of the characters had designs which for some reason are they, they got the long sleeves or things but then it does, you know the they have the yeah. shoulder the, the sort of sleeveless shirts. Yeah. I, uh, I think it was originally just a way to make you know the Miko outfit look more unique. Yeah. Like I, I uh, I, yeah, it's, it's a fetish. I don't, I don't understand your appeal to armpits. I believe in you. I think if you hit her head, she can't block it. No, she can. I mean, we can't really say anything because this is how it was fighting them in the stand. Game. Yeah, that, that, that I expected. It would. <laughs> you just wanted to do it on purpose, didn't you? I just find it funny. The sound effects. Yep, good puzzle there, guys. <laughs> See what I mean? You tried. You could probably actually do that if you used the hat between each cannon jump. Rip. Oh well. <laughs> um, it's not like it matters, you can just heal up anyway. Oh yeah, I've got healing items. Yeah, you've got like tons of them. There you go. Um, oh, forgot to do the. Yeah, that wasn't going to end well. Yeah, oh well. Um, it's fun trying to do this actually without using the um... actual methods. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, winking got taken down. Um, and like, have, have you, you remember what I mentioned about um, the other day about? Um... Oh. <clears throat> Spikes, Raph, just oh. if you can the quote. Uh, let me try and remember. It's been a while since I've played the game. S something along the lines of, "Huh, spikes being an instant. Spikes aren't instant death in this. I mean, that'd be ridiculous, wouldn't it?" I think that's. Hey! It. Hey! Congratulations! I've got to look this up now. Uh. Oh, 
Come on, just give me the quote. God damn it, you suck. <laughs> no. It won't. I can't find a quote. So yeah, carry on with what you were saying. Um, but yeah, like, um, you remember how I mentioned the weirdness in, um, well, well, it happened because uh, someone's artwork was a bit more on the etchy side, but it was basically shiny in her pajamas and the pajama trousers had started to fall down, sort of thing. Yeah. You know, so basically a bit of undergarment, basically. You know, oh. nothing too heroic, but Underwear. there was a butt, you know. They exist, whether you wear clothes or not. The thing is, it remind you know, that was one of the ones that you got taken down, and that reminded me of um, that same thing I mentioned before about how in my Nankas Pokemon Weavers Adventure, as a reference to the Pokemon anime, I had a moment where in uh, there was the psychic, uh, there was a, um, the psychic guy, the Sabrina's father, aka the Sabrina's family photographer, uh, mentioning the same sort of thing he'd do the Ash or Nanka sort of thing. Yeah. The thing is, I was originally gonna, when thinking about, it, I was originally gonna have that actually happen because it, you know, as a direct reference, but I only ended up mentioning it because I felt weird about doing it towards Nanka, in the. When I, because I felt that when I was thinking of doing having it done to Nanka, I worried that it came across as unnecessarily heroic or etchy. Yeah. Whereas, however, I think the exact same scene of Ash, a male character who's also only ten sort of thing, and it's only ever depicted as funny. Like you could probably find, say, you know, oh, I could say Simpsons characters, you know, you know, like the sort of, you know, Bart's actually often. That was good about in scenes. What you mean, right? Yeah, that one. That exact one. It's amazing that you managed to find that exact one. You know, like, you've also even got characters in, like, kid shows. Um, you know, the sort of young the characters. The boys at least, that go around shirtless. Yeah, and... the boys shirtless or, you know, even sort of, like, funny ha-ha scenes where, you know, their trousers fall down and their shorts fall down sort of thing. And those are only ever depicted as humour and aren't seen as etchy or right, even though it's depicting an underage character only in their undergarments. Which you'd think, you know, it's like, oh, that's, you know, doesn't that feel a file in the same category? But I kind of feel, like, the thing is, you know, I myself felt weird, but I assume that's because simply because I'm male, so there's a different viewpoint. Well, male and straight, you know, so there's a different yeah. viewpoint there. Uh, just quickly to interrupt your thing, the um, uh, Matt Boson, creator and director, of Deshante series has apparently reached out to the Deviant Art ah. uh, people to try and figure out and solve the issue because the problem is safe for work artwork is being taken down. Yeah, um, and stuff that I mean, I mean, it's Shanti, this, you know, regular like this might. Uh, but the thing is, uh, she's still covered up, and it's less pornographic than the porn that Deviant Art has on its front pages. Yeah, and yet again, Deviant Art, or is, it's really weird fetish art, is the home place of the Sonic fan community. Yeah, and that's not. And the Sonic fan community never gets attacked by <laughs> Deviant Art. I'm a man nine months into pregnancy, and no way to get rid of this baby. I'm in a very bad mood. <laughs> That's a nice son you get there. Shame if someone impregnated him. <laughs> no, no, I'll get you your money. <laughs> uh, have they um, updated more of that? No, they haven't That's updated the party. It's Dork, it's Dorkly, a Dorkly video, by the way. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll probably see about including a link in the summary below. Yeah, it's, child, it's child friendly. I mean, there's nothing. Is it? There? There's no. I mean, aside from attacking with a. Uterus, you umbilical, know, cord. umbilical cord, a, a bleeding nothing... umbilical cord. Yeah, but it's like tiny pixel. I could barely tell. Sure. You you consider that safe for work? Fine. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. A warning. Fine. Yeah. Diablo's only considered the sixteen. <laughs> yeah. So. What a world we live in. <laughs> Digimon Cyber Sleuth got away with a twelve ring and no hint of sexual content or swearing. Which it, the Digimon Worlds is a twelve and that swears and v uh, language. Is not listed. Well, what's on funny the box. is like the Digimon, the 3DS games. You know, they they got the all child friendly sort of Ray Drain, and on the one on the 3DS ones, Ray's the first character on the screen with her, you know, her hoodie unzipped, chest yeah. out sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Sakurai had to remove Fajra as an assist trophy and censor a couple of the trophies because you could see up their skirts. Well, tragic. Which would have bumped it to a...
basically the one rating below 18 in 16. Japan. Yeah, well, they have their age rating is they've got five ratings. Z is the you cannot display it on store shelves. Z is not a number. No, it's zero. That's still not a number. Which goes A B C D and then oh. Z. They jumped a few letters in the alphabet, guys. <laughs> well, they were supposed to spell out Sero as well, originally. Uh, well, they did a bad job of that. <laughs> to be fair, it's, it's, they're using English letters for Japanese, so... Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. But in any case, uh, yeah, um, now that's really nice to know about the creators reaching out. Like, they're, yeah. they're, they're really interact with their fandom a lot. Um, it's actually... It's the advantage of being an indie dev, really. They get more yeah, interaction, because they are, you know... People. It's interesting. I mean, everyone's people. But. The, the Smashboard's Fred for Shante has um, been suggesting that Shante might be in Smash Bros. in a way. Because originally, the creators were really sort of trying to, you know, promote her getting into uh, Smash Bros. and, you know, getting votes for her. And they, you know, talked about it. Until basically this year, where they've been something and they're not replying to any questions about it. Oh. They've, you know, usually they reply to almost all their tweets. They've ignored every tweet about it this year. Amazing. So, I mean, it doesn't mean playable character could be in any way. Assist or it could be Like Shovel Knight. Yeah. A oh boy. Shovel. Although, given that hint of a, you know, people suggesting a different indie character could be in as a playable character, I would much rather Shanti than Steve. Is he indie now? He's, a, he's, he's been brought out by Microsoft. Yeah, he technically can. As an indie. You know, people still recognise him as an indie. So. I, I don't recognise Minecraft as indie anymore because it isn't indie anymore. It used to be yes, and it was an amazing thing. No, but... They don't put Steve in the game; they put Notch. He d- he just waits around as a depressed man. Not even putting him in Smash Bros makes him happy. Final Smash <laughs> is to throw a party where everyone goes. To and he's the only one left on he the. He throws a pie off screen, so the, everyone. The party, so everyone goes <laughs> out the last so... <laughs> Notch is just left on his own. Poor man. Mm. I love you, Notch, because <laughs> you hate everyone. In any case, cheer everyone. See ya.